Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to cover all the questions that are present in the UiPath Automation Developer Professional Practice Test. So let's face one of the questions. Considering that the attached table is stored in a variable called dt, so this is the table, what will be the result of following link query? Here dt as innumerable, right? And remember to check the method. What is the method used here? Count. Count method. And then lambda function. And then what it, it is trying to count? It is trying to count the item column in the item column which is equals to apple. In the item column, wherever this apple, it wants to count that. Okay. So here, 3, 17, 27, 27. So remember, never sum the quantity of apple. For example, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 12, 27. So don't go ahead and select any of this because it is not trying to sum the quantity column for apple. It is trying to count just the apple. So here the answer should be 3. Let me show that practically on my UAPA Studio. On my UAPA Studio, I am reading that I have created a simple data table exactly as per the question and I am applying this method. What is the method here? dt as innumerable dot count same thing equals to apple. Now if I am going to run this, let's see the output count. This is a message box. So here the output is 3. So the right answer for this question is 3. Let's answer the next question. Which method can be used to perform link operations on data tables and lists in vv.net? The options, you have to read the options and choose the right one. So the very first option is using the invoke link function activity, apply link operations directly. So do you have something called link functions activity? You can very well check that link if you type link there's no such activity so this one is a wrong option so let me highlight this in red color okay now second option using x using the excel application scope activity to perform link option do you use excel scope application activity no so this is also wrong using the right cell activity to execute link operations in excel no this is not the right cell activity. So I will say red. Using the assign activity to apply. So this is the correct answer. Using the assign activity to apply link operations directly. We have seen that multiple times during our course. So this is a simple question. Let's see our next question. So the next question is, which link query will return the quantity of peers from the following table? you have to find the value one for peers quantity. Now here, when such questions are framed, remember all the methods that are used, skip while, where, skip first, using all these methods, you can actually pull the value. You can, I'll show you that. Using all these methods, we can actually pull the value. However, you need to see what is written inside that to understand whether this answer will be right or to be wrong the conditions and things like that okay remember all the methods are equally possible in this case so let's see the very first one so what i have done as always i have created a simple workflow which is reading the excel file and in the excel file i have kept the same data and then we will write the link query okay so the output if you look at the outputs are coming in dot two string format so what i have done i have kept my output variable in output count in string okay so let's write so what is the first one skip while so remember how skip while works this i have covered in much detail in my video how skip while works skip while works if the condition is true okay i'll write it the very first one is skip while how it works it will work on it will skip only when the condition is true just remember this it will only skip if the condition is true let me slightly enlarge this okay it will only skip if the condition is true 
Now look at the condition here. Function x, x item dot two string equals to peer. Okay. Now this condition, looking at the table, the very first item is apple. So when the loop starts, the very first item itself apple. So will it skip this? No, because it will only skip when the condition is true. So in this case, the output will give you ten. Because it's saying peer, it is not going to skip this because the condition is not true. It will stay here. Okay. So remember this very important point: skip while works only if the condition is true. It will only skip only when the condition is true. So in this case, the output will come to ten. So let me copy this code. And uh, I think I had already have it. So save this and run this code. Look at the output. So that is important point. Skip while only works if the condition is true. If you remember that point, you will be able to judge. So here the answer is 10. Okay, because the very first item only it will fail and it will pull the value zero quantity dot two string. So this itself is completely a wrong method link query. Now let's look at the second one. Dt as enumerable where function x x item dot two string equals to peer quantity dot two string. This is actually right. However, there is a small mistake here. Are you able to identify that mistake? Let me tell you. So when you are writing where and you are writing a condition called peer, remember it always gives multiple innumerable. The output is innumerable of data rows. So remember this point. So when I am using where, where method, it returns i innumerable. Or collection of data rows. So when there is a collection, means what? More than one. It could be one or more than one. So it always returns i numerable of data rows. Now to pull only the single value, you can't write quantity. Dot two string. You have to write something. So here in this code, everything is correct. The only thing, if you make a change, if you put a zero here, it will target the very first element. It will find peer, but again the Returns type return type for where method is different. It returns what collection of data rows or i numerable of data rows. Because of that, only when you write a zero, this answer will become correct. For example, if I run this, see it can pull the value one. However, in our question, because zero is not written, that's why this answer is wrong. So you are getting a reason as to why are you saying it is wrong. Clear? Let's try the next one. Dt as enumerable. Skip five first item dot quantity. Skip five means one, two, three, four, five. If it skips five, then the output will come nothing. The output will become blank. So in this case, if it would have been written four, then it would have picked the peer value. So let's apply that. I'm going to remove the previous code, paste this code, and if you save this. And run it. You see, it it got a blank output for you. However, if you would have made this value to four, then you must have got the output. So, with all different methods, it is possible. You need to know the reason. So, you can see it has pulled the value one. Okay, we got the output one for peer. So, this is wrong just because the number is wrong here. So here, so finally, if you know three are wrong, then definitely this is the right answer. However, let's check it. What is the next method they are using? They are using first. So first, how it works? Re remember, when you are using the first method, so skip you understood. So I'm writing for the first. So when you are writing first method, what it returns? It returns a single item. Remember, it doesn't return like where it returns multiple innumerable collection of data rows. Here, it returns always a single item. Now, because it returns a single item, you don't have to write a zero here, because it first means the first element, right? One element. Function x x dot item dot two string equals to peer and quantity dot two string. So this is the right answer. And if you run this. It will pull the value one. So all the answers are wrong because of different different reasons. So you got it. So this is our right answer.
Now look at this question. This question is framed on C sharp. So I'm going to create my next video where I'm going to talk about this in detail. So let's move on to our next topic. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.